Hello, my name is Nathie Vader and I am in a glass case of emotion. But besides that, I'd like to talk to you today about something I've been collecting for the last nearly 12 months now, and that's some coins. You might be saying, what kind of coins are you talking about? Well, they're collector's coins made by a company called the Westminster Collection. I think only based in the UK. Each month you'd send off £22 and you would get yourself a coin that would be plated with a nice little image of a dinosaur. You don't know which one you're getting until it arrives in the post. And then you'd also get a collector's case to put those coins into. And you'd also get a leaflet with a little breakdown of each dinosaur that you've collected each month. And I would just like to share with you that collection of which I have now completed. So without further ado, let's uh, have a look at it, shall we? So on the cover of this collector's set, you've got uh, a nice image of the T-Rex and Velociraptor Blue and the Jurassic World logo. Dinosaurs of Jurassic World Commemorative Collection. And on the back, you've got dinosaur size chart with all the dinosaurs there, Indominus Rex, Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, Cynoceratops, Ankylosaur, Gallimimus, Indoraptor, Stiggy Moloch, Velociraptor, Tranodon, Mosasaur. There's a closer look at them there as well. And also on the back here is a little glimpse of what you've got inside, which is a little plastic window showing off the back of one of the coins. Uh, there's also a bit of guff about the carnivores, herbivores, om omnivores. And, uh, this one, I'll put the word up because I don't know what it is. And you've got the Universal logo, logo Amblin, Universal Studio Leather. And you've got the Mint Editions there, which is, again, from the Westminster Collection. Just a close-up of that uh, imagery on the box. Really nice, like, really, I really like the eye. It stands out on the Rex. And this uh, nice sunburnt Jurassic logo in the background. And on the spine, you've got it uh, just saying the same thing again. Dinosaurs of Jurassic World Commemorative Collection. Uh, it's made out of card, so you have to be careful with it. It's not like it's made out of leather or anything like that. So these do become quite weighty after a while. So um, if you're a collector, I would take care when storing this. And inside you've got, firstly, the pocket, which you would keep all of the leaflets in for each dinosaur that you've collected every month. Uh, so there's a trend on there. That was the latest one that just arrived, actually. Um, we'll come back to those. Uh, Jurassic World, the story of Isna Nubar. So here you've got, if I bring that in a bit. Jurassic World is more than a park. It's a new reality. Although John Hammond never saw his dream park successfully completed, those that came after him, like Simon Masrani, carried his legacy forward. Humans and dinosaurs now walk the earth. Together, not merely coexisting, but interacting, adapting, and surviving. Grounded in believable science and limitless as John Hammond's imagination, the story of Jurassic World immerses audience for all ages in a thrilling adventure shared with the greatest creatures ever to walk the earth. Dinosaurs! You've got a lovely, cool image there. Look at, look at that. Look at that Jurassic World gate thing. It's absolutely wrecked. That's cool. The danger is real. The stakes have never been higher. And the opportunities and innovation. <laughs> the danger is real. The stakes have never been higher. And the opportunities for innovation, inspiration, and adventures are boundless. That's a pretty cool little, little quote there. And you've got an Indominus Rex image there. And you've got like a load of DNA patterning going across this booklet as well and also you've got a dinosaur database here that's pretty cool so what have you got there you've got a few there I'd say I'm not sure about the first one that looks almost like a stegoceratops so these could be hybrids that one for sure that's definitely a stegoceratops from what I remember 
Right, let's open this up and behold the coin of glory. Here they are. Aren't they glorious? There are 12 coins in total. So if we start from the one side, to be careful holding this. So you've got the Indominus Rex uh, Triceratops, Velociraptor Blue, the Indoraptor, Stiggy Moloch, T Rex, and going up to the top, you've got Sinoceratops, Ankylosaurus, Gallimimus, Mosasaurus. Stegosaurus and the Tyrannodon. Now if I take one of these out as an example, so you've got a nice little real stiff plastic case there to hold these in place. These won't drop out easily, so you haven't got to worry about that. So you've got what is essentially a silver plated coin inside a case. It's inside its own protective case and you get this uh, decal over the one side displaying which dinosaur you've got and in this case it's the Indoraptor it's got a lovely image there really high high def image it's uh, really crisp it's actually clearer in real life um, this video probably won't do it justice and on the other side you've got this really nice coin on the other side with the Jurassic World logo and a couple of DNA strands there in the background really nice uh, I haven't actually taken any of these out of the cases because I am worried about these getting damaged or getting smudges because I have grubby fingers from doing all the painting and other things that I get up to let's check out another one do the t-rex because there is nothing better than the t-rex and again Jurassic World logo on the back and this really nice image it's really like it's got a gloss finish to it really nice so there are 12 of these um, so if we went to the Indoraptor that we looked at uh, on here it gives you a little bit of information about the character so we've got an abomination hybrid of the savage Indominus Rex and the cunning Velociraptor this insatiable carnivore is extraordinarily aggressive. This abomination hybrid of the savage Indominus Rex and the cunning Velociraptor, this insatiable carnivore is extraordinarily aggressive. And then there's a little did you know. Did you know Jurassic Park's genetic engineers have been bestowed unnaturally designed gifts such as night vision and pitch perfect echolocation, making Indoraptor a formidable predator day or night? And then here it gives you the appearances of the dinosaurs in films, which oh, that's pretty cool. So obviously it wasn't in any of the other ones apart from Fallen Kingdom because this was a new dinosaur. And on here it gives like a little stat, a bit like uh, Top Trumps if you ever had that game there. So you've got aggression very high and intelligence very high, which it was. It was a very smart dinosaur, but not smart enough to avoid Triceratops uh, tusks. Hashtag spoiler alert. Um, it gives the height as well, the length and the weight. And I don't think... Nope, on the back it is blank. So we'll just have a couple... Have a look at a couple of others. I'm not going to be biased at all. Oh, the T Rex, yes. <laughs> T Rex, right? Lovely image there of the T Rex again. Gives all the length, the height, the weight. Oh, it's, it's a shorter paragraph for the T Rex. Fair enough. Okay. So the great tyrant dinosaur needs no introduction. Tyrannosaurus rex is the greatest carnivore of all time. Well, there you go. I, I don't need to look at this anymore. That's obviously confirmed it. Brilliant. Fantastic. Um, actually, let's have a look at a bit more. So this dinosaur has been in every single film. Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, and Fallen Kingdom. Oh, and there's a, a Did You Know? 
An adult Tyrannosaurus Rex requires at least 140 kilograms of meat every day with extra powerful neck muscles. Tyrannosaurus Rex can throw large chunks of meat into the air and catch it in a terrifying behavior called interior eating. I think that's right. I'm not sure. I'm terrible at spelling and pronunciations. My precious, my precious. You go back home now, my precious. Yeah, I really do like that uh, Jurassic World coin collection. I'm not really much of a coin collector. I do get a couple of the Fanatic coins, but this is um, something I've been collecting over quite some time now. Uh, if you want to check out this yourself, I'll post the link to the website down below and it'll give you all the pricing of what it's going to cost you. At the time, it was quite low. They did do a deal on the first coin and with the second coin, you get the case and then every month after, you get another coin. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I will maybe see you in the next...